What a tragic love triangle. What a tragic story for such a young woman and for these young people involved to have their lives shattered. This young lady in the middle, Miss Curtis, was a student at North Carolina Central University. She has also recently married at first her father didn't want him um her to marry the guy but then she found out that he indeed was a nice guy and a good man curtis's body or latrice curtis was found on january the 30th 2008 in the grass near the Highway 401 exit on Interstate 540. Unfortunately, Latrice was not honest or being the ideal wife with her husband, Darren. They shared an apartment in the Triangle area. And it appeared that everything was going well. But Latrice was having an affair with this man on the right. She was having an affair with this man. Named Stephen Randolph. And Stephen Randolph lived with this pastor Bishop Reeves, which you see on the left. Now Reeves was interested in the same gender. And Stephen was not the first person Reeves made advances on. He had that same pattern about approaching young men. This started earlier, years earlier, and ended up with the death of what he viewed as an obstacle to that, Latrice Curtis. So Reeves did everything he could to get Stephen Randolph interested in him. He said, if you let me do this, I'll let you stay here rent free. If you do this, I can do this for you. Trying to get those type of favors if Stephen Randolph would just agree to be with him. And he's a so-called preacher, so-called bishop. A bishop of what? A bishop of what? So here you have, this is Latrice's husband on the right-hand side, Darren Curtis. And he's happening uh, to go to work. He calls the family. He calls the friends. He's frantic because he hasn't found his wife. He doesn't know where she is. And then he's going down Interstate 40. And then he sees all these police officers, and then he sees what looks like his wife's car, and then he stops and come to find out that it indeed is his wife. Even one of her friends, Kimberly Parker, called Latrice, received a call from Curtis' cell phone, but no one spoke. 
And she said all the, the only thing she could hear was footsteps and gravel and the sound of vehicles. She said, Latrice, Latrice, and no one responded. At that time, Reeves was driving a Chrysler Pacifica and Curtis had a Nissan Central. But when the state trooper returned later, Reeves' car was gone. Darren Curtis also called 911 and then he went looking for his wife. And then that's when he saw his wife body covered up with blue tarp. How awful. He said he showed the authorities a picture and said, this is my wife. This is her car up there. Please tell me that's not her under that tarp. And there were several motorists who found uh, Latrice's body. James West, who lives near I-540, said two people were at the scene and a third was on the phone when he arrived. I'm telling you what, it just pays to do the right thing. She should have stayed at home with her husband. And there you see the body on the upper right-hand corner. And then, of course, the historic Black University, North Carolina Central University, which is located in Durham, North Carolina. And on the bottom right, you have the funeral of Latrice Curtis. When he was questioned by Wake County Sheriff, of course, Bishop Reed's gonna lie and had no explanation why his car was there, said he wasn't familiar with the area. Um, he could not be eliminated as a match to the DNA found on the steering wheel of Curtis's car. A lot of people thought Reeves was an awesome man of God and that he knows the Bible, knows people, said he was a classy gentleman. He's known Reeves for three years. It's not his character. It's just not him. I really think he was set up, but come to find out, it indeed was him. Reeves was a minister at the Cedar International Fellowship in Durham. And he followed Curtis from his apartment on the night of January the 29th, forced her to pull over and killed her. Reeves lied and said he was attending a church function the night that Curtis was killed. But the prosecutors said that they can prove that he was not there at all. And it's so unfortunate because he stabbed her several, several times. And her autopsy is available online. You can see her autopsy online. But Robert Lee Adams Reeves was charged with murder in the first degree, January 2008. The stabbing death of Latrice Curtis at the tender age of 21. He killed her because he was obsessed with this man, Stephen Randolph, and painted the victim as an obstacle to his advances on his male roommate. Now, talking about fatal attraction. But I blame Stephen Randolph because he should have moved out. He should have moved out when they, he found out that that man had an interest in him. He should have moved out. This woman was stabbed 40 times, 40 times, a crime of passion in the chest, the neck, and the head. 